Padre. Praise be to God, our Father. Praise be to Him. The Portuguese language was a gift of your father Cabral. I've been asked to interpret on your behalf. There was concern that we might miss certain subtleties in your testimony. If you were told to speak only in Japanese. The testimony, I... We wanted to be fair. And we do have a better grasp of your language than you do of ours. Father Cabral never managed much more than Arigataya. All the time he lived here, he taught, but would not learn. He despised our language, our food, our customs. I'm not like him. I'm not like Cabral. <laughs> really? Yes. We have our own religion, Padre. Pity you did not notice it. Oh, no, no. We just think a different way. True. You believe our Buddhas are only men, just human beings. Uh, even a Buddha dies, like all men. He is not you the are creator. ignorant. Padre, only a Christian would see Buddhas simply as men. Our Buddha is a being which man can become, something greater than himself, if he can overcome all his illusions. But you cling to your illusions and call them faith. No, you don't understand. If any man follows God's commandments, then he can live a I peaceful do. and joyous I life. I do understand. Padre, it is perfectly simple. Korobu. Have you heard that word? Korobu. It means fall down, surrender, give up the faith, apostatize, as you say. Do it. If you don't apostatize, the prisoners will be hung over the pit. Until you do, their lives bleeding away drop by drop. Some last for days, some do not. They die. They tortured fathers Poro and Casoro over the pit. Have you heard of them? There was one called Pedro too, and Ferreira of course. Ferreira? Did you know him? I've, I've heard of him. No doubt. He's well known all over Japan now. The priest with the Japanese name and the Japanese wife. I don't believe you. You can ask anyone. People in Nagasaki point him out and marvel. <laughs> he is held in great esteem now, which I believe is why he came here in the first place.